patrons and welcome to some of the new patrons that I've noticed has just come in. Um, this video this month I'm going to answer a few of the patron questions uh, that I've been getting. The first one is to Paul. For about a month or so now um, I've been communicating with uh, one of the patrons who's having a little bit of a problem with the his touch probe and getting it connected up now Paul I, you know I, I've sort of suggested to you a couple of um, things to check and without uh, actually sort of physically being there and testing with you know a meter uh, there's not much else I can do that you know something isn't adding up somewhere um, and I'm not sure what it is, whether it's the, you know, the earth to your, to your, your breakout board or your earth to your machine. Um, I, 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 you know, it's very difficult. Electrical stuff can be weird sometimes. And unless you're there, actually, you know, with a test meter checking it, it's uh, like very difficult to um, to ascertain exactly what the problem is. So I would recommend you to possibly, if you have to, disconnect everything and reconnect it all up. Uh, you know, check in every circuit as you go. Uh, that's the only. Thing I can suggest at this stage um, so uh, you know I'm sorry I can't do any more than that second uh, question is um, regarding the maxi CNC uh, rotor build um, and whether I had uh, a Parts listing, well, there is. The parts listing is, if you scroll down through um, my patron pages, uh, no, it's back probably three years ago. Uh, so you're looking probably, probably 2021. Um, you'll come across it there, uh, you know, the maxi build, um, parts list. Um, and I do not have a wiring diagram up. I have done several um, videos showing you, you know, wire, e where each wire goes. Uh, not necessarily on the, uh, entirely on the maxi, but on one of my bills. And it's, it's all virtually the same, you know. Um, it's just that, you know, the sort of um, pulse and direction, you know, the, coming from the, the breakout board, uh, you, you can't really mix them up. Um, excuse the wildlife going off out there. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's fairly self-explanatory, you know, there's nothing really complex in it um, but like I was saying just now on the previous uh, patron answer uh, you, you know do one wire at a time so you don't confuse yourself okay so have a look back in my my videos for uh, I'm trying to think of the best one I, I do show a fair bit actually with the maxi the, the wiring um, I concentrated on the the VFD and uh, the spindle connection mostly with that one but uh, I do explain as well um, about how the breakout board is was connected up with that um, nothing too difficult uh, there's also another um, video that I did um, regarding the AMAX actually that was a different breakout board but 
it's, it's, you know, it's exactly the same. And I did do wire for wire on that. Um, so, if you're still are having problem, or if any of you are still having problems with your, your wiring like that, I will endeavour to do a wiring diagram and put it up on Patreon. So there's that one. Now, the next one is a little bit of a funny one. Um, I forgot the patron's name now. Forgive me for that. But uh, we'll move over to the Queen Ant, which I will finish in a month or so. Okay, I have another patron that has bought uh, a Queen Ant and he's assembled it and he's got it running and he's trying to cut aluminium with it now he tells me that he is he's using a six millimeter uh, he's tried single flute he's tried um, two flute he's, he's run it at several different RPM um, I believe the fastest was I think 1600, uh, sorry 16,000 RPM but all it's doing is skating over the top of the, the aluminium it actually won't bite in and cut the aluminium uh, he's also tried uh, ramping moves uh, with Cavco still can't get it to bite in and cut um, now I've checked this one um, now you know if you sort of catch hold of the, the spindle and this is what I would suggest to do catch, catch hold of it and try try and move it up and down you can make it flex a very small amount this particular model of the Queen Ant um, having the uprated uh, X cross member, it's pretty damn stiff. And I would say it should be able to cut aluminium. And judging by what you've told me, you're doing all the right things. So the only thing I can suggest is like this one. All right, go and check it to see how stiff it is. Now I'm putting probably 30 or 40 kilos on that to try and lift it up. And it's not moving very much, it's not budging much at all. Admittedly, it's not as stiff as the, um, the Amax over there that I built. That's really stiff. And how I got it to be really stiff was, you know, I, I sort of decreased the overhang here. But the overhang to the centre of the spindle is on this Queen Ant is like probably eight or nine inches, you know. It's quite a fair bit out over here. Uh, that's caused by this Z axis uh, sort of arrangement. Um, but um, mine, as I have built it, is relatively stiff, as you can see, and it should be able to cut aluminium. So what I would suggest to you is first see how much deflection you can you can get on it, okay? You should be able to find out um, or see yourself whether the f how difficult it is to actually move it. Um, it should be relatively stiff. If you have got movement in it, I'd say that would be your problem. So you would have to go all the way back. In other words, strip this all the way back. All right and start by checking the tightness of every screw 
on the uh, cross member here, the, the um, gantry cross member. Every nut and bolt on it, everywhere. And make sure everything is uptight. You know, especially around, you know, these brackets and how these brackets are connected on to the Z axis. Um, and, you know, I can't see. You should end up with a, a queen app as stiff as mine. Okay. Um, and it should cut aluminium okay um, I'm actually going to put this out for um, on my main channel for subscribers and um, patrons because you know I've got subscribers asking me questions similar questions as well as uh, patrons so forgive me for doing that um, Okay, so as I say, you know, we're in winter now here in Tasmania and uh, it's pretty damn cold, although the sun is shining. It's, a, it's only about sort of seven degrees in here, centigrade. And uh, it's okay when I get the fire going, but I haven't been able to get up here too too much over the last uh, few months actually but uh, hopefully that's going to alter because I want to get this finished and uh, I'm obligated to uh, do some uh, you know videos for the Saint Smart 6050 plus and also the lasers so uh, I've got to get stuck into that as well. But I really want to finish this because this is a, you know, really a good little unit. This one. 